can you talk about uh, GMOs, genetically modified <laughs> foods, and are they bad for us, and, and do we really know the extent of that yet? Do we know the extent of that yet? Uh, I would have to say no. I don't think there's anything we know the extent of yet. Mm. I mean, it's True. impossible. You know, pick something, and we keep on learning more about it. No it's matter true. how bad we know mercury is, lead is, arsenic is, cadmium is, you know, nickel is, we still learn more things. Mm -hmm. We still, oh, my, geez, it, it, it's even harmful in that amount. Wow, we thought it had to be this amount before it was harmful. So we don't know everything about any of these. Uh, one of our world experts in genetically modified foods is, is Jeff Smith, Jeffrey mm -hmm. Smith, uh, Seeds, uh, Seeds of Deception. And I love Jeff. He's out there trying to get the word out. And he has interviewed a number of the scientists that have done actual research studies that the public isn't being given. So we do actually know. I mean, it is, it is out there for you to find out uh, if you, you know, read his book, uh, you listen to some of his presentations, that we're animals, first of all. Somebody will say, well, but that was an animal experiment. Oh, are you a plant? <laughs> no, you're a bird? Are you a fish? <laughs> We're animals. So, yes, every animal is different. I totally agree. And sometimes I'm not even happy when we do an animal experiment and relate it to a human, like the cholesterol experiments that they started out with, where they fed an obligate vegetarian called a rabbit oxidized cholesterol, which is a, a damaged animal fat. And then they said, because that hurt the rabbit's that that was a problem, that cholesterol was a problem. So, you know, some of the studies are, are wrong. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of animal studies where, anim plus we have a lot of animal uh, clinical data. Very often, scientists discount clinical data. They go, it has to be a double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover trial to have any validity. Would you please show me the double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover trial that shows that if you jump out of an airplane with a parachute, that the parachute will save your life? <laughs> or how about the double-blind placebo-controlled uh, crossover trial that shows that if you eat enough prunes, it will either give you diarrhea or if you have constipation, it will help? They've never been researched. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, there's never been a research study that can prove that water is a treatment for dehydration. It has never been studied. So clinical mm -hmm. evidence can be acceptable, but not if the people in power don't want it to be. Then, oh, no, 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 only has to be double-blind placebo control. So we have, for example, whole bunches of farmers uh, that are pig farmers. We have farmers that are sheep farmers. We have farmers that are goat farmers that have found and reported on that when they happen because somebody told them, you might want to try this because it seemed to, to work for me, and they stopped feeding the animals GM soy or GM corn, and they went over to regular not organic, not organic, just regular, just not GM. And all of a sudden, we had many, many more live births. We had much less disease, all sorts of this stuff. Oh, well, those are animals. I'm an animal. So there's actually quite a bit of research and more coming all the time. But they don't want to do really good human research because they might find out that it's as bad as we already know <laughs> it is. And then what? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, in Europe, where it was decided that they weren't going to withhold information from the public, all the big corporations don't sell GM stuff. Here, where we don't tell them how bad it is, and where we can put it in food without labeling it, and I hope the California bill passes and we're the first state that says you have to label it, but in general, you don't have to label it. So they don't know it's there. They don't know how bad it is. And therefore, people are eating it all the time. I mean, almost all of the mm -hmm. corn is GM. Almost all of soybeans are GM. Uh, you know, cottonseed oil is, is mostly GM. There's a whole mm -hmm. bunch of stuff out there. And people don't even realize it. In Europe, where in the countries where they're allowed to realize it, the manufacturers don't put it in because it won't sell. Mm -hmm. So, yes, GM is a major problem. And no, we don't have probably a clue of how bad it really is.